Hello, how's everyone doing? All right, we have a numerical methods problem, uh, an example with the simple fixed point iteration. So let's jump right into it. Uh, okay, so we're told to use the initial guess of xi equals 0 0.5 to approximate the root of f of x equals cosine of x squared minus x. And we're going to be using the simple fixed point iteration. And they want us to use four decimal places for calculation. And we're also uh, going to be completing a table. So that's uh, right here. Sometimes you will get problems where they give you tables. So they uh, are trying to help you out. And this makes uh, it a little bit easier for you. Just to make sure you're kind of going in the right direction. And we want to fill this whole table out. So before we can do that, we have to start by breaking up our function into the g of x and h of x portion. So let's do that. So let's start by rewriting our function. f of x equals cosine of x squared minus x. All right, and the first step is to separate this into two components, g of x minus h of x. All right, and then we're going to set f of x equal to zero, and uh, g of x will equal x and h of x will be whatever is rest uh, with whatever is left over so the rest of the function so we get 0 equals cosine of x squared minus x and then the next step here is to solve for x all right so add x to both sides and you get x equals cosine of x squared all right And then that indicates that cosine of x squared is our h of x value. All right. Another thing I want to point out is uh, giving the g of x and the h of x values, uh, assigning 1 to x, is sort of arbitrary. And this is where I, I really want you to go back and understand what we're doing here. So. We ultimately find, I want to find where f of x equals 0 because that's a root. And then when f of x equals 0, uh, according to the way we split up f of x into g of x and h of x, then g of x minus h of x will equal 0. So if these values are equal and this is true, then h of x minus g of x will also equal 0. So that's where... Uh, you really uh, should understand what you're doing and that there's more than one right way to do these problems. Okay, so let's actually get uh, into the numerical part where we plug in some numbers and get this table going. So we have our table here. We can fill in our h of x value as cosine of x squared, right? And then they do the first step for us. So we have our initial guess of xi equals 0 0.5. So they do that for us, g of 0 0.5 equals 0 0.5. And then the first step is to plug 0 0.5, plug the result of one function into the other function. So h of 0 0.5. What does that equal? It's going to be 0 0.9689. And also notice I use four decimal places because that's what they told us in the problem. To use four decimal places for each uh, of the calculations. All right, so what we'll then do is plug this result into g of x. 
So the result of h of x will be plugged into g of x. The result of g of x will be plugged into h of x. And we'll continue this process. So g of 0 0.9689 is going to be 0 0.9689. And then we'll plug that result into uh, the h of x function. So h of 0 0.9689, what will that equal? That will be 0 0.5908. And for all of the h of x values, we're just plugging in the 0 point. So we're plugging for this one, 0 0.9689. We're plugging that into cosine of x squared. And then that is the value we get. And then for the g of x values, what we're doing is plugging our input into the value of x. So for the g of x values, the result will be the same. So if they didn't give us a table, I would say completely ignore the left-hand side and do all the iterations of h of x and until you get your final value. But since we have a table, we're going to include that. But definitely you can skip this step or not even think about it. Just automatically think the input will always equal the output when g of x equals x. So moving on, h of 0 0.5908 will equal 0 0.9397 g of 0 0.9397 will equal 0 0.9397. Okay, and then lastly, h of 0.9397 will equal 0 0.6348. Okay, and it looks like looks to me like this table is complete but there is one other thing I would like to point out so we started out with the initial guess of 0 0.5 and when we plug that in we got the value 0 0.9689 right and then with each successive calculation we, we jumped back and forth and the range became more and more narrow and eventually for this problem we will converge and uh, just for reference for this function f of x equals cosine of x squared minus x there is a root at x equals 0 0.8 Zero, one, one. So just for reference, we were slowly but surely closing in on this route. And then uh, an important note. For the simple fixed point iteration to work, you have to be able to isolate x. So a key part of this is that when we split up f of x into g of x and h of x, g of x equals x. So to be able to let g of x equal x, you have to be able to isolate x. So just an important note when you're approaching these problems, some uh, it may, it may be difficult just in the original function to isolate x, but you have to be able to do that to move forward and uh, do this process. All right, uh, thank you for watching.